Welcome back to the last episode of this bulk recording. I hope you've enjoyed the series thus far, and we will continue to push on with the series as we have been. As is, our king was known to be um, ambitious, so naturally he's been expanding like mad. He is now a accomplished diplomat with a lot of prestige, and he is building the renown of the family. Truly, there are no others like him. Let's get up there and wipe this guy out before he becomes a problem. Okay, that is fine. We will no longer disrupt or go ahead and be bothering with schemes. That is no big issue. Now we are in debt uh, and we do need to designate a guardian for you. Let's designate you, that's fine. I can call another ally in. I don't need another ally. I think at this point we've won this battle, this war. I think it's just going to come down to the fact of closing it down, finishing it up, and wrapping everything up. So we're going to try and chase him down as quickly as possible and wipe his army out. Yep, there we go. 10k. Easy win. 86%. There's that. And we're going to go over here now. Now, I don't know if he has claims over there as well. We'll see. But either way, we're about to go wipe this guy out completely. We are in debt, though, which is a little unfortunate. So we are hurting right now for money. But, you know, we've been in worse positions. Oh, there's the 100% we needed in a force demands. So be it. Disband the army. And we've gained even more lands for Helios. Which is, you know, fantastic for us overall. Now... We do need to still continue working on our culture, and we're going to continue working up our crown laws. Now, our vassals will hate us for this, but at the same time, it's for the best overall. We don't want to have to deal with um, any issues long term. I'm not seeing anything for that, so I don't know what it's looking at. Um, but this has given us more lands, and I'm all for that. Now we just got to sit back and let our money pile back up. You had another great grandson, not bad. You've been busy, kid. All right, we will find him a good spouse though. One of his age, hopefully. Around eight years old would be the preferred, I think. Okay. Let's see, she's Herculean, so that would be really good for us. I am all for the, oh, that's my daughter. I'm all for this one. Let's promote that Herculean trait and see what we can get. And we got another dynasty perk. We are now on generational belligerence, which is definitely a good thing to have. I am all for that as we become more and more of a martial based character. It makes us more interesting and gets us a lot more power. Now, one of the things I am going to do, because we just got mongrels, which is the upgrade to this, is I am going to destroy this entire regiment. And we are going to create a new regiment of mongrels once we get the money for it. Uh, and he is right. We lost... Oh, there we go. There's that drop in stress we needed. Okay, so we're going to let our money keep going up right now. We're not too worried about it, but we do need to upgrade everything here soon, which is definitely one of my things I'm going to be working on. For succession, we can't change this yet, can we? No, because we don't have... Great cultures not have hereditary rule. Yep, so we need these. And we can't get premature or house seniority or any of these, because these, you need the... Uh, premature uh pregenitor innovation so it is unfortunate it's so but rare to find true friends i agree my poor son here he's 40 years old and he would have made a good ruler but if he comes to 16 first we might imprison our own son just to you know and send him off Nope, stay with me instead. That's always better ideas. We can commission a new epic. I definitely, I mean, we don't really need to, just given the fact that we're going to have to build ourselves up for a bit. Um, we are at 3.64 now because of the fact that we've got one count by marriage, one king, one emperor by marriage. Nice. 
Um, I don't see anything I really need to do at this point for us. I think we're just going to hold on to our gold and build, upgrade our castles. We'll start exchanging with you. That's fine. Yep. So we're going to do that. And like we have been, continue on with everything. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So our main thing here is at this point, we need to just upgrade. Oh, we are now on death's door. Okay. Because of that, we're going to do groom to rule to bump our f kids. Now the question is, do we let our son rule at this point? We can't ask him to take the vows. We can imprison him and force him to take the vows. And then we just jump to this character. I believe, who's next in line for my title? Uh, Leon Heracles. So, yes, him. I think that we do this, and then we force our son to abdicate in favor of his own son. And that will be what we do as our last act as the leader of this country. Oops. Um, so, I will have him educated by a military ruler and that will definitely keep him going uh sure you can serve me at court because i am on the edge of death at this point there's nothing i can do i had another daughter great fantastic now i must die with peace now there's nothing we can work on in our territories is there no no and no okay so all I can do is wait. Oh, we we can construct this. Now, I'm still saying we do the blacksmith just because of the men at arms maintenance and the heavy infantry will be definitely the most useful. So I'm gonna do that and spend our last bit of money on our blacksmith. And then we passed on. At seven minutes into the video, Despot Leon the first of at, died of 69. He ruled for 26 years. He had fought in seven wars. He was diplomat. He was dutiful. He was exalted among men. He was dreaded, and he died gout-ridden. Despot Leon the first of Hellas rests in the arms of the Lord at 69 years of age. He died of unknown causes. One of the best fighters of his age. He was unrivaled in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Good luck, Despot Leon the first, and the afterlife. Despot Leon ascends to the throne, having uh, mastered many skills, he is sure to be admired by his subjects. He is established and dutiful. And that, my friends, is where we will continue next time. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you again.